So welcome to this video about wireless MBUS and what TI has to offer. My name is Erling Simonsen. I'm working as product marketing in Nopar RF. And with me, I've got Svein. Hello, Svein IT. I work uh, with business development also here in Oslo. So Svein, we're here to talk about wireless MBUS. So what application is wireless MBUS going into? Wireless MBUS is going into metering or AMI, advanced metering infrastructure. Uh, to be more specific, it's actually connecting the different meters in your house together. So you have an electricity meter, a gas meter, and also optional a water meter, and it could also be a display system. Okay, so this is only for emitter, water meter, gas meter, and the display? Correct. And these are inside the house, correct? Yes, there are other solutions to get out from house to house, but this is focusing on, on the in, inside the house solutions. Okay, so where is this standard used? Well, we see for the moment now, we see the most traction in the German speaking countries like uh, uh, Germany and Austria. Uh, but we also know that the Netherlands have selected to go for this standard, and it could also easily spread to many other countries in Europe. Okay, so the motivation for, for using wireless MBUS is that you have a government which imposes you this, this standard. Correct, uh, at least in some sense. In some countries, they have decided to go for the wireless MBUS, in other countries, they will. So let's say that you need to fulfill the function, and then you, you could use other standards as well, for example, Zigbee. Okay. So, uh, Sign, what does TI have to offer in the wireless MBUS space? Well, we have a system on a chip solution called CC1110. Okay. And then we have a transceiver also called CC1101. And with the 1101, we also have a microcontroller, MSB430, that we have some reference software for. Okay, so, so this is what we're talking about here. The, uh... Correct. It's an application node. AN067, it's called Wireless MBUS implementation with CC1101 and MSP430. Okay, so are there any specific advantages of the CC1101 in Wireless MBUS? Yes, it is actually. Um, the uh, Wireless MBUS has a little specific, uh, strange way of doing uh, the packet, um, strange way of handling packets, and we actually have a feature in 1101 uh, which has a FIFO where we can um, actually use the, the on chip hardware features in 1101 and receive a wireless ambulance packet with very low overhead for the microcontroller. Okay, so less strain on the microcontroller here. Correct. Then okay. you can use the microcontroller for other tasks, for example, in the metering application. So if I want a solution out of the box, do we have any, any module or third-party providers that can help us there? Yes, correct. The, the, the software we provide is only, let's say, low levels receive and transmit functions. If you want a complete solution, we have uh, module providers that can supply both hardware and software and the whole stack and they are two for the moment and it's radio crafts and also Anvil wireless in, in germany okay thank you for watching and uh, please go to uh, ti.com slash wmbus uh, for more information there you will also find this nice app note that we've made on wireless and bus and the cc1101